the alfalfa has soaked overnight, so now I'm going to drain the water. You can save this water to water plants or water your microgreens. I am not growing microgreens right now. I'm setting up a new batch, so as soon as I'm up and running, I'll just save the first drain water. So it's very important to let the water run clear the first time and to shake out all of the excess water like this, then I divide the seeds like this and place it on a 45 degree angle. This is day three of the Alpha Alpha. It's morning. I'm going to rinse them. They're doing really well. As always, I'm going to do a double rinse. I just swirl them around, drain the water, shake the water out and then just leave them to drain like we did in the pre previous days. That is it. You're going to do the same thing tonight and then I'll see you tomorrow for day four. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the seed husks off. As you can see, I'm not gentle with um, with my sprouts. You really don't need to be. If they fall apart when you do this, there is something wrong already. I'm just saying. So these are the husks, and some of the sprouts will also go down the drain. And some of the seeds that haven't germinated, there will always be some. So now I'm going to spin them dry. My salad spinner is broken, but it still works. So. Totally fine. I really love this method to spin my sprouts dry, but if you do not have um, a small salad spinner like this with like smaller holes, some of the bigger ones are just too big to do this, you know? So if you don't have that, you could let them drain in a colander, like something like this. Or you could just give them, you could just uh, do a final rinse in your sprouting jar and let them drain for a few hours and then store them in the fridge. Or you could place them on a clean towel and get some of the moisture out that way. For me, this is just easiest. So I'm going to store them in this container and I'm keeping one of the corners open because you're working with a living food and they need to breathe. So now we're done and um, this was alfalfa, four days. So I'm going to clean my jar and my sprouting lid. And then I'm just going to start again. I am usually not using soap or anything. I'll just uh, rinse them with water and see if I have one here. I usually use one of these. This one is quite old but I like to use it for as long as I can because it's plastic. And then I also use a sponge. I use a clean one. This one is just for cleaning my sink but I like to use a, a separate one for sprouting. And I just use water. And taking my mason jar, this is a 24 ounce jar. I am taking shy of a tablespoon 
of alfalfa. I generally use two teaspoons, but it's easier just doing it like this. So, I water, get some water. I just use a lot of water. I am using the mason top lids right now. Um, yep, so I'm screwing that on and then I swirl it around and I leave it to soak overnight. I usually sleep for about 12 hours, which is a long time, but yeah, so see you tomorrow. Until I start to feel like I need to clean the jar out and then I will we'll just use baking soda, um, vinegar, sometimes I will use, I don't know if I have it here, I will use like a natural soap like this one, it's a Dutch one, but I like this one. Um, but if you're going to uh, use soap or anything, you need to you need to make sure there is no re residue whatsoever in your sprouting jar because that will give you issues with your with your sprouts. So that is why I like to use water for as long as I can, and um, your sprouts kind of will tell you when it's time to clean your jar out really well. If you just stick with me, I am going to show you what I mean with that when it comes up. So, okay, thanks for watching. This is day four of the alfalfa. So they're already, so in four days, you have grown your own organic, fresh produce. Isn't that just cool? So taking them out, so this is all I have. This is from one tablespoon of seeds, shy of one tablespoon actually, so that's really cool. Alfalfa and red clover give you the biggest yield. You don't really have to do it like this, but I don't know, I just like, it's kind of therapeutic or something. So, make sure your hands are clean though, it goes without saying, but still. morning of day two alfalfa they've done really well so far can you see how they stick to the walls and not and aren't like all in one big clump yeah that's really what you want because they have space and they have plenty of airflow yeah so going to rinse them I always rinse twice. So it's double rinse. And kind of swirl them around. And then drain the water. And again, instead of going up and down like this, you're shaking the water out like this. I'm going to place it on a 40, 45 degree angle for like a half hour or so. Then I will divide the seeds like this and let it and lay it down flat, flat like this. And then I'll see you tomorrow for day three.